we did come fighting back, but uh, unfortunately too little too late. Um, we went through that dry spell in the second half, which really hurt us. Their press bothered us a little bit. We have to be a little bit tougher coming to the ball and making better decisions. And, uh, you know, I, I think that overall that was the big key is making better decisions. We wanted to, anytime a team presses you, you got to try to make them pay for it, but you got to do it uh, within the flow of your offense and making good decisions. We had way too many turnovers, 16 turnovers, and just weren't taking care of the ball like we needed to, even in the first half as well. So, um, again, something we got to learn from and, uh, and be better next uh, game out against Western Carolina. You know, that's uh, typical of Gilk. Uh, you look at his stat sheet and he affects it in a variety of different ways. He usually rebounds the ball. He makes the appropriate passes, decisions, uh, you know, plays very good defense. And uh, tonight he's scored for us as well. So uh, if you're looking at the positive, certainly he, I thought, played a good overall game. And then Travis Evie was able to score the ball for us as well. Um, we need to figure out a little more consistency with some other guys. We had a couple guys had really rough shooting nights and we had some open looks, you know, we got to knock them down. We have to look ourselves in the mirror and play harder as well. Um, so you talk to them about the game, we will watch film, we'll do that. And then you have to move, turn the page again and, and move forward and uh, hopefully get better against Western Carolina.